I'm continuing my chat here with Dr. Jailal, who's turning out to be a very fascinating guest. Thank you for not Sorry. running away from this <laughs> studio. Now, um, we hear of so many young doctors these days who somebody is trained in Armenia and somebody's been in Russia and somebody's been in countries that we don't necessarily see as being the place where our doctors are going. And what do you think about that sort of thing? I know they have to come back and requalify, and then they fail their exam nine times, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, now we have a lot of people who study abroad and come back. Mm. The system now what is prevailing is when they come here, they have to clear the text and they have to practice for one year as an internship in an hospital. Right. What we say is, as you said earlier, medicine is not only a cognitive skill; it is the psychomotor and the local skills, the community skill mm. has to learn. So that comes by only by practice. One year of internship is there. But unfortunately, the pass rate is very low. Now nearly more than uh, 35 to 40,000 yeah. people were not passed uh, in these examinations mm. are there. Uh, there. One is the, if they are studying in other language, it yes, is difficult right. for them to come. And uh, we are trying to help them and uh, make some more kind of uh, training to them to clear that examination. So we cannot compromise these two. They right. have to clear. We can only help them and empower them to clear it well. And after that, once they clear, they are giving It doesn't make any difference any then, right? Make a difference. What about the NEET exam? What do you think about that? As for a doctor from Tamil Nadu, I am absolutely against that. Why? B b this is not the concept of NEET, the how they it is introduced. When the syllabus is not common, when you are not prepared yourself in a common way, and now you are expected to write an examination, which a student coming from a rural area and the backward communities, and they find it difficult to face that challenges because once you are in a city or when you are affordable, you have an option to get an extra training which is not available for every rural area. And you study a syllabus of state board and you are expected to write an examination in another, another uh, system of syllabus. Mm -hmm. So in the long run, yes, it is good. We should have a common entrance examination. But the way it was introduced suddenly, unexpectedly to the students. You are not for that, obviously. I am not for that. And we abs absolutely, I mean, oppose that. But it has come. Now, what IMA we have doing? We have started a class called IMA Nidhi. Neat mm -hmm. and Nidhi, we said. Mm -hmm. So, every, I mean, we have now six areas where the students from a rural background or a government schools, now we are tra doing them training for them free of cost. Right. Doctor, tell me about the involvement of technology in the medical field. I understand that uh, technology is assisting the medical association in terms of, you know, getting hospitals ready for to be accredited for, for the insurance plans, etc. Is that working well? What do you think about it? Yes, it is uh, welcome uh, because medicine, medicine is uh, full of technology, lot mm. of equipments we got is uh, technology. Even now my field of laparoscopy surgery is now going to the robotic surgery yes. where you can have a telerobotic surgeries can be done. It is this a uh, welcome move and uh, we are empo mean empowering our doctors to get trained in this uh, concept. Uh, almost all our, see now even sitting here, I can see my hospital how it is True. functioning. So True. that's the way it is. I, I welcome it is. And right. Uh, we earlier talked about uh, the fact that uh, the medical associations are also looking at all these allied people who are yes. also working there. I want to draw you back again. I want to talk again about nursing. What attention are you guys paying to that? Um, some nursing is great. Some nursing is quite terrible. Uh, some nursing leaves you as a patient feeling awful because you're in the hands of somebody who just maybe comes to take your blood in your room. So what attention are you paying to that? We see, Even in IMA, we have a section called paramedical section mm. where everywhere we are training the uh, people and especially on the, the, the skills, the mm. part we are training them. And uh, we are making the people, our hospital doctors to believe that uh, nursing is one profession where uh, they are the, the main people for the rise and fall of an hospital depends upon that. So, term. surely then you should be making sure that the man in the street respects a nurse. I, I, I belong to a family where my mother is a nurse. Right. So, I have a lot of love and affection to the nursing profession. That's great, yes. So, and uh, my hospital, entire hospital is named after my mother because uh, I have a great respect for my mother right. as a nurse. So, what we are trying to... or that original concept of nursing yes uh, how they care as a family as a mother so that has to be introduced 
and we are for that. One of the major issues today the nursing has not got attraction is the salary part. Mm. Even if they come into the private hospital, so their salary is not uh, very good. Mm. So now what we asked our doctors, our society and community, you do a lot of charity outside, but you are not ready to pay our uh, palliative health professionals. Exactly. We say that you pay them well, treat them well, because they are the people who are uh, being the, began the success I of you. I would say they are almost the backbone of the industry, yeah. uh, would you say, Doctor? Absolutely, they are the backbone of the industry. Right. Uh, what about the training of our nurses? I mean, are you satisfied with the way they are actually trained to go on the job? Or a lot of them, you sometimes feel they are learning on the job. They are experimenting Tamil Nadu, on me. Tamil Nadu, we have 220 nursing colleges. and Officially recognized? Yes. It is run by, uh, recognized by Tamil Nadu Medical Council and Indian mm -hmm. Nursing Council. Okay. But all are not up to the top level of our training. Right. And we have a two system, one is a diploma in nursing and a college of nursing, the mm. BSc nursing. The people who come out of diploma has more of clinical skill and they are uh, good for the hospital pattern. But once they come out of BSc nursing, they are having a knowledge part is good. Their uh, clinical part is not that uh, adequate enough to be practiced now. So, you are really calling here for more practical skills Absolutely. for… Absolutely. That is what is needed today. Mm. We need more practically oriented people. The pharma people has done a change. They, they, they now started a course called Pharma D, mm. where it is a clinical pharmacology. There is no need for them to all know all the basics and the science, but they know to know the clinical concept. So, I personally believe a clinical BSc nursing should come where it is the, the, the part of the, actually what the art of nursing has to come than the knowledge of nursing. Right. So, that um, the art of nursing as you call it. Um, is, is this for the nurses themselves also to be aware that they do perform a very crucial role? In your experience, have you seen that they are actually aware of their, I would say, importance to the industry? Yeah, I, I believe majority of them are on, on that, but it has also become like a, uh, a job or a profession they come. Like a lot of things have come in. So now, as the president of the IME of Tamil Nadu, what is it that you want to leave behind when your term is finished? What's the one significant thing you would like to change or to, you know, say, well, when Dr. Jailar was there, this is what was done. What's that one thing, doctor? I, I want to always be the people to don't give importance only the knowledge part, but the cognitive, not only the, the, the psychomotor, the relationship which you build. That's a big word. What does it mean, please? No, you go to the supermarket, Yes. you buy things, you don't remember the person who has told you that anything. Yeah. Because there is no relationship has built up. Let the hospital should not be like that. When the patient come to me, I must play an extra step to impress not only his mind, but also, also heart. So, if I can enter into his heart, that is the miracle it will happen. I love where you are coming from. Um, I wish that a lot of our medical professionals were actually hearing you speak, but uh, hospitals and clinics, sadly to say, have really become very business oriented. So when a person goes in there, you're, you're wondering, can I afford to pay this bill? Uh, how, you know, it, it kind of troubles me a little bit, doctor. Yeah, that is true. But that is, uh, now we do budgeting for everything. But unfortunately, in the system, we do not budget for our health. That is when suddenly you have a health into problem, you find it difficult to face that problem. And uh, I only request health is also uncertainty. Disease can come at any time. So, you must be get prepared for a health budget. You must have something to health budget to save yourself from the that, unexpected events. That's a very important uh, point that we'll take away. Dr. Jailal, I'm Thank really you. appreciative of your time. Thank you. And I know Thank you've you flown much. in all the way from Trivandrum for this. I Thank appreciate. You. Well, that's all we have time for here on Going Beyond. And I do hope that you've enjoyed listening to Dr. Jailal as I have indeed found him extremely interesting a guest. We'll be back with you again next week. Take care. Bye for now.